What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna do some tax evasion. My name is Nathan Carhu and I just made massive gains on Dogecoin. We have a hundred dollar bill here and some Don Julio 1942. This is gonna make you peasants weep. I can't believe you'd click on such a destructive video, but you've been tricked. This is water and that was a counterfeit $100 bill. On this channel, we don't do risky, dangerous, or wasteful things. Everyone may think that this is just an iPhone. After my gains on Dogecoin, I actually modified this into a vape. This looks like a charger port, but it's actually the fill for the juice. And this is where you hit it. Usually instead of coughing, you get hiccups because that's what rich people have. This is the ugliest Mustang that has ever been created. What is that? Just keep going down the line, roasting all my neighbor's cars. Look at our cars that we have here. A Miata and a Jetta. They're both piles, complete piles. But I'm also, I'm selling the Miata if anyone wants it. If I'm just pacing the cop right now, uh, who is Bellevue police and he's headed away from Bellevue. You know, I'll be honest, I really wish I could pull him over. Cause I, I get pulled over for going like 10 over, it happened. I, dude. That phone vape, just the hiccups. There's always a homeless man begging right here and look at all that garbage right there. Either A, he picked it up or B, he left it there. Finally arrived to beautiful Kent, Washington where they have Winco. You know, like things that I find weird. You have to wear a mask when you're walking in a restaurant but when you sit down, you don't have to wear one. You have to wear a mask unless you're smoking. So when they say anything, you gotta wear a mask. Oh, it's... So you don't actually have to wear a mask if you're smoking. It's one thing that people don't understand. For all you pussies that are too scared to vape in a store so you don't have to wear a mask. So a really inconspicuous way, you're gonna need to find yourself a freezer in one of the aisles. Go ahead and hit your vape. Open the freezer. And it just looks like steam coming from the freezer. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Hey, I didn't smoke weed. I'll show you guys a little secret. I feel like nobody knows about this. You no longer have to go to Red Robin to get their fries. Babe, come here, come here. It's you. Dude, I used to love these things. Mmm. These two. These are always so good. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be honest, these suck. what I'll usually do with these is I'll eat away all of the chocolate and feed them to my girlfriend just so I can get to the vanilla, but I just discovered that they sell the vanilla ice cream in haagen -Dazs. So I have no longer a use for this. A squad of homeless dudes in Vancouver, BC, and they like bomb hills with shopping carts. It's insane. I want to be one of those guys one day. Sweet, thank you. Have a good night or morning or I was like, have, have a good night. And then I'm like right here. It's like when you say goodbye to someone in the hallway and you keep walking. The reason why I haven't been posting as much car content is because not everybody comes to my channel for car related stuff. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit at the end here. On the Evo, I did a motor transmission and T-case delete. So it's a whole lot lighter. Should win a lot of races like this. Now moving on to the Miata, same thing but this one just a motor delete. Pretty much the Evo blew up, the Miata blew up. I bought another turbo Miata. I sent off the Evo's motor to the machine shop and I just got it back. So this is my 4G64, it's fully built. I Brandon McCauley, I auto auto machine. Thing is looking absolutely saucy. He did the head as well. We just got some GSC parts in that bitch. We have some 2150cc injectors on the intake manifold. I picked up this 
twin disc for a hundred bucks. And then I went ahead and I bought the Exeti uh, twin to triple disc kit. So this is gonna be a triple disc clutch. I'm gonna be running this Garrett 3582R Gen 2. So not only did my Evo blow up, but the transmission needs a rebuild, T case needs a rebuild. With this whole setup, I'm gonna be making about 700 wheel horsepower on E85. And I'm super excited about that. Here's the sad Miata motor. It's like a Miata graveyard in here. I've gone through seven engines, seven 1.6 engines. <laughs> 